All right, now for our area teams, realignment will mean new opponents and new travel schedules. Some are looking at hours on the road, so Patrick Johnstone tells us more about a couple of local teams with new rivalries to establish. Flower Bluff and Gregory Portland know each other well, but the two teams are going to have to learn some new opponents for the next two years because of their new realignment. We're excited, you know, new district. Uh, we've got some new teams, some we've never played before, and uh, uh, we're excited about the challenge. The Hornets and Wildcats football teams will be playing in Class 5A Division II, leaving a district that includes teams from CCISD and Victoria to go against teams in the Rio Grande Valley. We feel like it's, it's uh, something we need to do uh, to stay and play with schools that, that are the same size instead of opting up and playing with schools that are bigger than us. The new district will mean more time on the road for district games. But we're trying to localize our, our non-district games so that, that kind of evens it out. GP head coach Brent Davis said only the football team is affected and there won't be too many trips down south. So you're talking two or three trips a year that you're going to have to go to the valley? The Bishop Badgers are in a similar situation, sitting in District 16 in Class 4A Division 2. Travel for us is, is nothing. Head coach Louis Rodriguez said the Badgers are excited for the challenge of having to travel for district games. We like to travel. We, 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 we get that mentality with the kids. To, we have a SWAT team mentality. We go, we see, we conquer, and we get out. For a full list of district realignments for all sports, head to our website, chrisTV.com. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Patrick Johnstone, Chris Sports.